There's a quick Austin 7 update. Um, currently doing the rear axle. Uh, I just thought I'd show you these bits here. Um, I'm replacing the old felt seals which mount into the casing sort of in there. Um, replacing these felt seals with modern lip seals. Um, it's just one of the upgrades you can do. And that obviously goes onto the half shaft and uh, sits about there. Um, so when you remove it there'll be a round spring clip with a washer that sits on top of there and that holds it into the uh, casing of the axle and then you have this metal cup which is below it and the seal sits inside that cup there so it's quite an easy thing to change um, so you just take out the old felt seal from the metal cup and then uh, with the new lip seal you can uh, put that in a vice and just squeeze the new lip seal in so it looks something like that and then that can be uh, dropped into the axle and then you uh, simply reassemble with a washer and the spring clip um, just thought I'd show you that um, yeah Quite an easy upgrade, I'm going to change I've got two differentials here with half shaft so I'm going to pick and choose the best bits so this one got two good bearings on it and the gears are all good but the half shaft has got some corrosion on it whereas this one has got a couple of decent half shafts but these bearings are had their day in the knackered actually that one's not too bad that one is knackered um, but I've been spending some money as well so that's kind of what 400 quid's worth of Austin 7 bits look like. Um, so we've got some new bearings there for the axles. Um, more lip seals, these will go on the hubs. Um, the Hylamar. Uh, spring uh, pins, which hold the axle, or spring to the axle. Um, kingpin kits and bushes and bearings and U clamps for the springs. But yeah price can soon rack up. Um, been doing a bit of work on the chassis, um, just cleaned it all up, gave it a coat of, uh, sort of grey primer, it's meant to be rust preventative primer. And one thing I've also done is box the chassis in, um, so you can see I've welded some 16 gauge steel to the whole length of the chassis the underside. Um, this will massively improve the rigidity of the chassis. Um, just cut a few holes in it just to take some weight off it and also for ventilation and allow me to get some paint in there as well. Um, yeah that should be quite a good upgrade to improve, improve the rigidity of the chassis. Um, I might even weld some tubing get some inch and a half tubing and weld that across um, probably where the original mountings go or the original cross sections go um, that will also um, sort of uh, stiffen up the chassis prevent twisting of it um, so we've got these bits here so I've taken all the rivets out and uh, they'll be cleaned up I'm just going to nut and bolt them back into place on the chassis because originally they would be riveted on um, but uh, some decent high tensile nuts and bolts will do the job quite nicely um, yeah so still got loads of work to do um, but just give you a little update video so my next next thing to do will be get this rear axle back together and all set up something that's uh, going to take a little bit of time and effort just to get it right um, but it's one of the main components that you want to get you want to get put back together correctly um, so I've got to give it a go okay uh, out for now